You won't hear any Brooklyn Nets player say the phrase championship or bust, but it's evident that this team is all in. Here to break down this loaded roster is the Daily News' is Christian Winfield. Christian, the Nets' big three has only played seven total games together. Seven. How concerned should we be about their injury history? I mean, well, that's the one thing that this team should be concerned about, right? Because when you look at the talent, the talent speaks for itself. You've got Kevin Durant, who, I mean, against the Pelicans, he was sensational, didn't miss a shot. You could see how the defense was just uncomfortable dealing with a player of his caliber. And then you've also got Kyrie and you've got James Harden. If you have those three healthy at the same time, it's hard to find another team that could beat them in a seven-game series. However, health has not been on this Nets team side. I mean, the only thing that could stop the Nets is themselves at this point. Yeah, that has been said time and time again. But besides health, what's the Nets' one glaring weakness you think could be exposed in a postseason? Um, I would say the center position. Um, obviously, they signed LaMarcus Aldridge not too long ago. And since then, we haven't seen DeAndre Jordan, who has not been off the bench since. Um, but when you look at the teams they're going to have to go through, more than likely, you're going to have to deal with the Sixers, who have a Joel Embiid. And when you've got guys like KD and Kyrie and James Harden, you're not going to have a problem scoring. But on the defensive end, especially on that interior, uh, the Nets don't have a player of the profile that can stop one of those dominant type bigs. Yeah, Christian, you mentioned LaMarcus, and I think there were some early reservations initially about how productive Aldridge sure. as well as Blake Griffin could be in this offense sure. as well as on the defensive side. What have you seen from them so far? Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge looks like he's a perfect fit. I mean, at, at least offensively, he's a guy who can post you up. He can space the floor out against the Pelicans. We saw him hit some corner threes. We saw him in the low post. Uh, and Blake Griffin has done the same. He's a guy who can get out in transition and hold the ball in his hands and make plays. Uh, and, and we actually saw him go for like a huge tomahawk dunk uh, against the Pelicans. Uh, and, and those two guys have been a, a complimentary type of fit in a way. Although he's out right now, have you been surprised how James Harden has adjusted his game? game to fit this net style. Absolutely. You know, there, there's watching James Harden from afar when he's winning an MVP in Houston, and there's watching him on a game-to-game -game basis and being able to cover him. Um, you, everything that every player says about him is always the same. I, he makes my life easier. James Harden puts me in the right position. He takes the pressure off of me. Help me fill in the blank here, Christian. The biggest threat to the Nets championship hopes in the East are... The Philadelphia 76ers. I still think that uh, Joel Embiid, as dominant as he is, uh, is just a matchup nightmare. The Nets don't have a player on this roster that can stop him. And on top of that, when you look at the defense that they play, Doc Rivers has gotten those guys in shape. I, I know the Nets have they have championship aspirations, but they have to take care of what's in their own backyard. In their own backyard, I think Philly uh, is the biggest threat. Yeah, I would definitely say Philly would be the biggest threat to them as well. But thanks for joining us, Christian. Of course, you can check out his work at the New York Daily News. Back to you, Andy. Thanks, Justin. All right, coming up next.